Okay, wait a minute. So the self-doubt comes in, but you keep putting in the extra effort because of the students. Do you think there would ever be a point where that balance would make you look at something different? What, what would that feel like? What, at what moment are you going to go too much? That care is a necessary part of my job. And I am a reflective teacher. I think about what I do and how I do it. And caring for my students, creating that rapport in the classroom is such a big part of my job. And it is necessary because I teach at times young kids who are first time abroad, they are away from their parents, they need a sort of, not quite a mother substitute, but they need a friendly face in the classroom. And that is me. If I feel that I can't do that anymore, um, or if I get too bitter, um, then I would rather quit than keep going because I, I can't lower the standard to such an extent that I'm just going in and lecturing and going out again and not doing that because that's not the nature of my job. So if we work together to, to change the situation and you, you did know you had a job till you decided you were ready to leave, a, you know, a, a job for life so to speak, um, do you think that would make a difference to you day to day and how you're feeling at the moment and do you think that it would keep you where you are? Of course it would. Yes, I love what I do. I'm teaching with a passion and that's why I have been able to, to keep going for so many years. Um, it would make such a difference to me to know that I have secure employment because it means that I don't have to worry about will I have work next term, you know, who will I teach, how much will I teach, I, I'm there. And, and to me that's just the most basic requirement for a teacher is to know that there is work and you are valued, what you do is valued. So I just wonder if just to, just to wrap up potentially, if you could talk uh, about the effect that you've seen this having on colleagues, would that be, would that be useful? Mm. So. Um, Given that you're working in a collegial work environment uh, and there are other people in, the, uh, in this environment that are experiencing similar things to you, what have you observed as the effect in others of insecure work? It affects everyone very similarly. It's a, a gnawing away at your self-esteem. It's the uncertainty of not knowing what you're teaching when you have a family at home and bills to pay and children that rely, or you know, children or a family that rely on your income. If you are not guaranteed that, or if you're told one day before the next term starts, that's, that requires a lot of strength to just keep professional, keep friendly, keep smiling, and just, you know, this is how the world is at the moment, but it is not good to get used to that. It's, yeah.